as you can see frogs got few new plants to bet they are not out so you can see how they are enjoying them anyway let's turn off the waterfall because it's making noise and we need to record new video so what is on today's menu on last sunday i visited Yerko and you that follow me on the facebook you saw that we made at his monocentropus balfuri and also darko was there he brought his balfuri mail and i'll show you that footage a bit later he also gave me one sling i think he did it only to piss off my girlfriend because i always bring some new tarantulas when i'm hanging out with them the darko and Yerko. it is a nando tripepi sling kicking your hairs Bro. there we go oh, where are you going man? there is also a lateralis cockroach inside so what's the plan? the plan is to put him in the CD enclosure and I don't have any empty CD enclosure so what I'm going to do I'm going to take out the Salmopeo Sirminia mail and transfer it in small box because soon I will be taking him to my friend in Zagreb so he can pair it with his females so I will get him ready in that smaller box and then I have empty CD enclosure where I can put a Nando Tripepi sling and that could be fun I just close off this little dude so he don't runs away so here are my cd enclosures i have eight of them and as you can see they are stackable so that's nice terinohelos morinus is cleaning herself grooming for last three molds she has a goofy leg it seems like she doesn't have a control over it let me just try to move hmm can't really see it but usually she's just dragging that leg and I don't know why so anyway here is the mail let me take that and also I have three Violaceopes slings that I need to transfer in bigger enclosures and I'm not sure if I should record that but that could be fun so so tell me if you want to see that because I have a feeling that I did a lot of sling transfers and I don't know if you guys found that interesting enough and look Harpactira pulchribes sling molted molt is down there see it? maybe it's not getting bigger that is nice so let me know in the comments if you want me to make a video of that transfer the Omotimus Violaceope slings alright First we will take the Salmopeus Irminia female, a male, outside. That could potentially be really fun. And by fun I mean stressful. Mm, this is too small. I need bigger, bigger. And by the way, it's a Terry enclosure sneak peek preview. There is his butt. First let's prepare the catch cup and this super cool device I showed you how amazing this is for capturing the spiders in video if you didn't watch it click here to see how how that one works let's take the stuff out don't be bolty please bolty is that a word well it is now Ooh, look have a nice shot now look how fuzzy he is it is amazing how much size they gain when they molt in their ultimate mold because it seems it gained like double the size you see the enclosures are not that practical because you don't have a lot of space to work in thread posture he is mean and he is not satisfied with me doing this stuff to him. Yeah, yeah. You see how 
easy this is with this amazing device. Super easy, right? And he is super pissed. Not a happy spider. There is my poking stick. The poking stick. I know that you are mad, look it on the bright side, you are going to meet the ladies and hopefully they won't eat you. There we go, you can cool off now. empty this CD enclosure and yeah if you are interested how to make this CD enclosure I also made a video so click here to see it this was actually my second so it is pretty bad but they are really nice especially because they are really cheap if you have the materials as always we need some substrate I'm using a cocoa fiber, so in case that you need, there will be a link in the description where you can buy it over Amazon and some other stuff. And those are affiliated links, I think that's how they are called. Anyway, when you buy something using those links in my description, Amazon pays me a small amount, so that way you're also helping me out by buying yourself stuff that you need anyway. So in case you buy something, Thank you. Let's put some leaves. Piece of cork bark. I will just put it inside for the looks. Also, if you are from US, you can buy cork barks over Amazon. There are links in the description for that also. Okay, some super basic terrestrial setup. Oh, I didn't turn on the lights. My bad. Don't go, no, 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 come on, why are we going up? Why are these Nandu species so bolty? Close that off and ta-da! We can call this uh, successful transfers. And now let's watch the monocentropus mating video. This was by far the easiest tarantula mating I have ever witnessed, even on video or, or in person, because as you can see, male went to female's enclosure on his own. And few moments after that, the female started drumming and she came right out. And I will just leave you to enjoy the rest of the mating video. And that was it, as you saw, really easy and smooth mating. 
and the male didn't let me catch him so easily, but that was not a problem. And this is Yerko's iguana eating a banana. <laughs> it is shedding at the moment, so that's why his skin looks like that. Anyway, that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, thumbs it up and comment something. And if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. I upload every Monday and Friday, so see you again soon. Bye! -bye.